now this this is uh, this is called the sub assembly and this sub assembly we will use to run all through this store from start to end if there is any variation uh, in the road uh, at any point we can change uh, we can create a new sub assembly and assign uh, in that specific area now in our case we will be using uh, this same sub assembly to uh, create our road corridor let's go and create our corridor from going to corridors menu and create corridor the corridor road uh, name will be road one corridor and alignment and profile will be used as baseline type alignment will be load one if you have multiple alignments it will the list of alignments will be shown here so then the profile that you will be using will be road one profile now notice that we have created two profiles one was original ground profile one was road one profile which is the finished road profile now in our case the corridor will run along the road one frl finished road profile and the assembly that we will be using is road one rd1 the one we created recently this one the target surface it is asking will be the original ground surface and click this so you can uh, so the system will take you to this window where you can assign more properties to your corridor and here the first thing is uh, here this mostly similar things are being asked like horizontal baseline is your road one vertical baseline is road one profile assembly is rd1 you can change all of these things at this point simply it's very easy and start station is you can change it and station you can change it frequency of corridor you can also change it and you can change the car on the corridor targets and here you have to understand some things like we had uh, assigned some mm, sub assemblies this sub assembly the one we used link slope to link slope to surface when we say link slope to surface here it says link slope to surface this link slope to surface sub assembly should go where in here we have to assign that it should go to original ground right and left both should go to original ground surface we hit ok apply rebuild the corridor ok and this is how our road corridor looks like let's go ahead and click this right click and object viewer this is how our corridor looks like on the right side we have cutting portion and on the left side we have filling portion now you can see that some of the portions are not filled and there are some discrepancies how to overcome this let's see that right click the corridor and we will go and uh, to parameters tab and we will change the frequency to along the tangents we will say it should be one meter every one meter there should the uh, sub assembly should be targeted along curve increments one along spiral should be one and along vertical curves one okay apply rebuild the corridor we hit okay and again let's see how the road looks like now this is how our road is looking like you can see now it is much more smoother than the previous one this is how our road is looking like this is the side slope 
that we entered um, where we used the sub assembly link slope to surface these are this all of the sub assemblies you can monitor over here like this is our, your carriageway this is your shoulder this is your curves and this is the footpaths and after that we have the uh, side slope which is link slope to surface and it is uh, at the edge at the end of the road it is linking the slope to surface uh, which is our original ground surface now the next thing we are going to use is to create a finished ground surface from this corridor simply right click and go to click select the corridor right click the uh, corridor and corridor properties and from here we go to surfaces tab create a surface create a corridor surface and from here let's select the specify codes make sure you have selected links from here and the codes that we are going to use are top code pavement code and sidewalk curb code daylight fill and daylight cut add a break line all of these codes and we will say that overhang correction we will say top links apply and as it is asking again and again always perform my current choice i will check this and it will automatically rebuild the corridor every time i hit the apply button the then i go to boundaries right click here and corridor extend as our outer boundary for the uh, uh, surface that we have created from corridor apply okay now what we see here is another surface that is created from the corridor right click object viewer and you can see here we have a surface it is a smooth surface which shows our finished road levels finished road elevations how our road would look like you can see here this is our road now if you go in view viewports named viewports and i change to uh, three viewports okay in our right viewport i would close this in our right corridor right viewport we uh, select the uh, profile in here we select the sub assembly and in here we select the horizontal the uh, horizontal alignment now just notice if we change one of the aspect in this corridor like if i am going to change one thing in sub assembly let's say we change the uh, sub assembly from 3.5 meter to 5 meter you can see here something has changed here right click and i will go and update the rebuild the corridor you will see here all of the aspects have been updated as per the sub assembly let's say uh, let's go here and change our road profile let's say i am going to update the vertical profile over here you can see there are some changes at this point right click rebuild corridor and you can see there are even more uh, changes uh, and dynamic changes are made when we change one thing the other things will automatically change in civil 3d this is how our road looks like.